Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Sunday to us all. Um, hope you're okay. Hope you've been having a nice weekend. Um, where you left us off last, we unfortunately um, we didn't do well. I think we played three three games, didn't we? No, we didn't. We played four games. So we we drew with Hibs, drew against Dundee United, lost to Greenwich Morton in the Scottish Cup, which I'm really annoyed about, and then lost to St Mirren one 0 in the Scottish Premiership. We are currently seventh. We are well below getting into Europe this season, so we're just going to have to. Uh, I mean, the board wants us somehow to expect expect us to qualify for the Europa Conference League, but I think to do that you need to get top four. So I think they need to be a bit more a bit more realistic. But I could be wrong. I don't know. In fact, let me have a look at this. It should tell you in the rules, shouldn't it? Yeah, Europa Conference. So. Yeah, we've got to get fourth place. We're not going to get fourth place. Um, we do get a lot of prize money, though, if we get up there. But, yeah, we're, we're well behind. We're seventh. They've got 12 points ahead of us and two games ahead of us. So we are definitely not getting Europe. Um, we're only six points behind Hibs, though. Um, they have a game ahead of us, though. But we just we just got to hope. We, our main aim is just to stay up this season, mid-table, really, realistically. Anything else is a bonus. And then next year, we have got to get better. I think Hoyland not scoring in 14 games now um, after starting the season. Look, I mean, if you look, he got, he's got 16 goals and then he went on a 14-game losing streak. Um, we can't sign Jack Henry because we haven't got any money. Don't want the Dundee United job, so we'll just tell them off. Uh, he's a good player, but we won't be able to sign him. Good Scottish player. Keep an eye on. Uh, the only reason I haven't forwarded it to the next match is because we're coming towards the end of the transfer window. So um, I thought you might want to watch this um, live as I'm doing it. Even though we haven't got any money, so I can't. Ex I'm not expecting. Why is it taking ages to save this all of a sudden? Oh, I thought it froze then. Um, yeah, we haven't really got any money, so we've got literally. I'll have a look at the wage budget. We're massively over the wage budget at the moment. Keep buying. I keep bringing in too many freebies, which also is, I think, a board objective. So let's just quickly check. So wage budget is 375 and we're currently projected to be 37, which was better than it was a minute ago. Before that, it was like 57. So we, we need to get rid of some dead wood. But I haven't got any transfer budget, so I can't just release them. Like in an ideal world, we'd have a massive offer for him, but it ain't going to happen. Um, we can't get rid of Thomas Ince or Tom Lawrence because... Their wages are too high. We have got a bid for him though, Ramirez. So anyway, let's just see how it get on. Actually, let me see if I can let me see if I can sell Tom Lawrence again. I might have to offer some of the wages. Let's do that. Hope for the best. Uh. Thomas since I know we've already tried to s sell him recently but didn't go through so we'll try again we'll offer some of the ways this time um, I might have to cancel Deli Ali's contract extension actually let me have a look at let me uh, contract there we go I think he's already on a high wage well that'll be good then Ramirez will help He's already on 30 grand, isn't he? So if we just keep this at 30 and we insist, I'll just do non-negotiable. Fine. So, Deli Ali, we've still got him for two years anyway. So, it doesn't matter. He's do oh, look at him. Fair play to him, though. He does deserve a new contract, but I've got to keep the wage down at the moment. I'm going to praise him for improving in training. Uh... I'm slightly surprised by that. Convince. 
Maybe I could be a little easy on myself. Okay. But yeah, he, look at him. He's really improved, which is surprising at 29 years old. You don't usually see players improve, but he's improved massively. It's a fair play to him. Uh, decline. But yeah, if we get rid of Ramirez, who's on a ridiculous amount, 30 grand a week. There we go. Oh, he's on loan. He's going on loan, but we're, we're going to... They're paying literally 90% of his wage, which will be great. So that will... Look at that. That's improved it massively. And we've got 500 grand. So we've got 500 grand. That means we can release somebody. Who shall we release? Thomas Ince. They probably won't let us, but we'll try. Let's try Tom Lawrence as well. Yeah, I understand why you're not happy, but my well, mind's made up, you're going. If you don't want to go mutually, I'll try and release you. Same with you. Right, hopefully we can... No, oh, balls, we ain't got enough. Right, who else can we release that's not? Liam Shaw, maybe? Actually, Liam Shaw's wanted. We could probably send him on loan. Right, so we send him on loan. We insist on 80% of his wages. There we go. Hopefully that will help. Who else can we get rid of? Him, maybe? Let's try and transfer. No, we'll leave him, actually. Um, Furman. See if we can get rid of him. He's on a high wage. Hopefully we can shift him. Get rid of some of his wages. Uchi maybe. Mm. I feel like he's a good player for us. Can I can I terminate this? Oh, I can't terminate it. Such a bad idea to bring him in. He's not very good. I need to get rid of my. Um, I need to get rid of my DOF. I think. We'll try and get rid of Aziz again because he's not happy. He's not playing the position that he wants to play. Oh, pardon me. I do apologise. Um, that come out of nowhere. That did. Sorry. Right, I feel like that's all we can do. God, it's processing slow today. I gotta make sure I don't bring anybody else in and also make sure the DOF doesn't bring anybody in because we've got to keep that wage budget down. I've already failed in um delighted why are you delighted oh okay so they're happy that's fine yeah i just don't want to get on their bad side because we've already failed to get through to the next stage the latest stages of the scottish Cup. Uh, right let's have a look at the f remaining fixtures yeah, I think it's just the Scottish Premiership. Yeah, we've just got them. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight games left. Eight times three, 16, 24. So we're on 30, 54. So obviously we're not going to get these positions. Um, but yeah, we're not going to. I just think, I just think we're going to probably get, I mean, the best case scenario, we'll get sixth place this season. I don't think we'll even get that. I think we'll stay at 7th. I don't think we're going to go further down the league. We definitely need to win this next game, though. Gary Root. It's nice to see him doing well. I wish, I wish, I wish I could... Ah, I can shift this into the wage budget, so, so there you go. There we go, wage budget is back on track. Right, let's put firm in on the unwanted list, sell or release. Let's try and offer him out. Oh, we can't offer him out. Ask his agent, yeah. Hire intermediary, don't want to do that. Okay, we'll try and sort him out in a minute. Uh, Thomas Ince, you're unhappy, but no one cares. Which some people might think was a bit harsh there, but you know. 
Oh, I forgot to do this. Unwanted sell or release. Offer some of his wage. Tom Lawrence, put you on the unwanted list. Sell or release. Let's do this again. Probably won't make any difference. Nope. Right. Miguel Aziz, why are you not on the transfer list? I just put you on the transfer list. Oh, we've got somebody potentially interested in him now. Unwanted. We'll put sell at value. We'll leave us out. I do want to make some money on him. Uh, yeah, I think that's it now. Right, we've got a new set piece coach. He's pretty good. I just need to quickly do this. Responsibility set pieces. There we go. Okay, that's that done. Right, feels like a long way ahead yet now. Four days. It's because the transfer window takes forever, doesn't it? No, nobody wants them. Right, let's try again. Offer him out. Offer some of his wage. Uh, offer him out. Right, there's not much else we can do really. Can we terminate your deal because you're injured? Oh, we really shouldn't have got him in, should we? Mm. We've agreed a warm weather training camp, which will be good. Hopefully that'll help us. You don't get much warm weather in Scotland. Aziz, loan. Okay, we'll send you out on loan then. Right, let's see if we get any loan offers for him. Try and get some of the wage off. Oof. You wouldn't think it would run this slow. I've got a decent uh, gaming laptop. I'm not used to it running this slow. I mean, I'm probably saying it's slow. Everybody else is probably going, bloody hell, you think, you know, you think your computer's slow? I'm just, I was just very lucky in a position that I... Uh, I bought this laptop with some money that I won um, this last time I was gambling basically, I don't gamble no more, but I made some money on a football accumulator that I did that, made, that won me like 900 quid, it was the biggest win I ever had, so uh, at that point I should have just called it a day and should have just never gambled again, but I didn't, but I stopped gambling now, so uh, when the fun stops, stops everybody, don't gamble, it's not, it's not worth it. Um, but yeah, I won like nine hundred and fifty quid, and I only put like basically there was a lot. There was quite a few teams losing that shouldn't have been losing. I did a, I did like a like a fifty p massive a uh, six team accumulator that won me like two hundred quid, and I did a multi. I think it was like a lucky thirty one or something that won me like seven hundred quid, and I needed um, Caligari to win, to win, otherwise I'd have, I'd have won 200 quid, so I'd still been happy, but basically in the last kick of the game, Cagliari scored to beat the team that they were then at the time losing to, and I, won, and I couldn't believe it, I was buzzing, absolutely buzzing, but they, they're very rare, they're moments, that's why I decided not to bother gambling anymore, it's not worth it, because when you look, if you look at your, um, if you bet online, and you look on, like I did, I looked at my profit and losses for the year when I used to bet all the time on Skybet. And it was something ridiculous. I think I was like minus £4,000 for the for the 12 month period, which is ridiculous when you think about it. So at that point, I was like, no, nope, not doing it anymore. Oh, I can terminate Schofield's uh, loan deal. Good. There you go. You're not even worth being on my subs bench, mate. I 
The thing is with gambling though, when you don't do it for a certain amount of time, you don't particularly miss it. Um, I started gambling because I I didn't have much going on in my life and I wanted something to help the weekends um, entertain me. So I used to do some very small one pound football accumulators. I spent like five quid at the most on a Saturday and then I just started gambling more and more. At my worst, I was gambling on football. Oh, Troy's. Like I said, again, that would be a very interesting job to go to if it was a journeyman save. Because they've got that bloody Savio. He's a, he, he plays for Garona, doesn't he? Chelsea signed him and then I think sent him out. But they've got these twins here, the Balde twins. They're a decent team. But anyway, like I said, it's not a journeyman save. Uh, yeah, but at my worst, when I was gambling, I was gambling on horses, greyhounds, football, basketball, late at night. Yeah. Uh, not worth it. Right, anyway, enough about that. Let's, back, let's get back to football manager. We finally getting, finally got to the point where we're playing again. Um, so we've got Castilla in goal, Rue in defence with Welsh, Warner and Diate, Ball and Rios in midfield. Maldini, Danda, Middleton and Hoyland in the attacking position. So let's see how we get on. Middleton didn't impress me in the last game, so I hope he does better in this one or else he's off. I'm not impressed with the DOF I've got. He's not done very well in the transfer market. In fact, oh, I'll, I'll have a look in a second. Go on, Delhi. Yeah, that's a good start. There we go. Maldini with his 10th goal of the season. Good little assist for Deli Alley. Let me just have a quick look at my DOF. I don't know who he is. Before we carry on with the game. Sorry about this, everyone. I I, I have to do it when, there and then. Simon Wilson. So, he's got good ability and an analysing data and good playing potential and negotiating. So, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt at the moment. Um, he's got extensive in... England, Australia, and Scotland. I think, to be honest, I think it's probably the best DOF I'm going to get. I don't think I'm going to get a better DOF than that. Mm. He's just not done very well with the bringing in players. Maybe I just need to take him off the responsibilities of bringing in players and then I'll just do it myself. But yeah, 1 0 so far. Which means we're neck and neck on games with Hibs and Dundee, and we're only three points behind them. So, yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, it's ours. It's all right. Panic, I don't think it was Livingston. Corner to us. Yes, get in. 2 0. Deli Alley with a goal. Deli Alley with the assistant goal, and then Middleton's got an assist. There you go, Middleton. You're proving me wrong. Good. I like to see that. There we go, 2-0. That's what we like to see. I'm going to praise the players again. Middleton with the free kick. Lines it up. What's he going to do with this? He seems to be taking his sweet time figuring it out. There we go. What are you going to do? Oh, he bloody blasters it in. Well done, Middleton. Middleton, all is forgiven. You are welcome here. Corner to us, Middleton. Oh, have we got a penalty? We certainly have. It's Hoyland the penalty taker though. No, it's Delhi. Go on, Delhi. Get your second goal again. Go on. Lines it up. Scores. Good. Are we on for a Delhi Ali hat trick? I think we are. I might try and sign Deli Ali to a new contract, actually, even if I've got to pay him a bit more wage. Um, ooh. Hopefully that's just a consolation goal. I have had games where I've been winning 4-0 and then it's ended 4-4, and that happened um, That happened two games in a row in my first season with Rafe Rovers, so sometimes it does happen. Hoyland, I feel like you just need a bit of encouragement at this point. 
Can we get can we get Hoyland a goal, please, everyone? Come on, Diarte, give it to Hoyland. Oh, okay, that's fine. Warner, blast one in just outside the box. Even though you haven't scored, Hoyland, you played well. You tried your best. That's all that matters to me, mate. You keep trying. Eventually, the goals will come back. Don't you worry. Great performance by us. Deli Ali with a man of the match performance, two goals and an assist. Uh, the attacking free here played really well. Hoyland unfortunately didn't. Uh, he was the worst player of the of the of the team, but I won't hold it against him. Yeah, so that's good. Oh god, we got bloody Celtic next. That's not good. I'm not looking forward to that. Danders out for a bit. Yeah, well done, Delhi. Right, I've got Celtic in four days. I will do the rest of this transfer window because, oh, bloody hell, save him again. I need to, uh, in a second, I'm sorry about this. I should have edited this bit out, shouldn't I? I need to change the saving setting. Uh, just bear with us. Right, I'll do month. Yeah, just give us a few seconds. Taking a while. Come on. My viewers are waiting. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright. We will take part in the transfer window, even though we haven't really got any money. We'll see what who the DOA brings in if he does. Our wage budget's alright now, so we can go slightly over. Oh, Motherwell. He's a good player to potentially bring in. That's what we want to do ideally, is we want to raid the smaller Scottish clubs for their best young prospects coming through. Basically doing a Bayern Munich, really, as they call it. Deli Ali with the uh, player of the month. Shall we review? Cons there we go. Okay. Right, so we do this. Uh, yeah, okay. So we've got it slightly down than it was a second ago, earlier. Oh, no, we haven't. There we go. I'm happy with that. He's happy with that. And we tied him up for three years. There we go. So we've got him until he's 32, which he'll probably ret might retire at that point. I don't know. Yeah, Rui's playing really well. Can we get him on a new contract? Do we need to? Uh, two years left. Oh, we can only give him a two-year contract. Fine. Whatever. I think it's because he's only 17. Oh, okay. Darren Boy won't go to us. I thought he was a prospect from Kilmarnock, but I think he's... Oh, no, he's saying he just joined from Alloa. Right, I don't expect much to happen in this uh, deadline day. So Dykes went... He played for a lot of teams in Scotland, didn't he? Let's have a look at his career. So he started in Australia, then he went to Scotland, went back to Australia, then he went to Scotland again, went back to Queen's of South, then Livingston, then Queen of South on loan, then Liv and then he and then QPR, and then and then Motherwell. So he's had an interesting career so far, I think. Oh, here we go. Uh, Oh, okay, so the board's going to wants to increase our wage budget. We'll obviously agree to that. That really helps us. Pleased to announce as a result of improvement of club's finances, the board... Oh, my God, we've got some spends. Jesus Christ. Should we go for a crazy transfer? Let's see if we can bring in on deadline day. I don't think we can bring anybody in, but it's quite interesting that... Uh, 
let's improve the scouting budget a bit let's max that out uh, so we've got a bigger Jesus Christ the board's gone crazy okay I wasn't expecting that so we have a look at players let's see who's on the transfer list uh, get rid of that transfer list why is it not giving us any players what's going on here transfer listed hold on oh I know why any there we go no that's still not right reset reset where's reset clear transfer list I don't know what the hell happened there somebody pointed out to me Johnny Evans should we bring in Johnny Evans uh, he's not exactly a big signing but no we won't bring Johnny Evans in I'm being silly here right um, one thing I need to do first is make sure we don't go after any players by the way I do have the in-game editor but I don't use it for any saves that I'm doing on a uh, stream or streaming or recording videos so don't panic um, I only used it once to transfer Ronaldo to Sporting Lisbon because I'm doing a save with Sporting Lisbon at the moment uh, offline though so I knew that Ronaldo wouldn't be able to I knew that Ronaldo basically wouldn't come in the first season because he then just joined his other club and he'd probably more likely to retire at the end of the season um, None of these players really interest me. I like players that are like uh, that people know about. Yeah, there's oh Josh Windows, mate. No, 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 no. Uh, I tell you what, let's get rid of transfer listed. Let's see who comes up there, and we'll do recommended. don't need a goalkeeper I might not sign anybody actually to be honest unless somebody really put, stands out I can just sign players for the summer can't I use that transfer budget when we get a decent player come through the scouting shall we have a look and see if there's any Scottish players we can sign nationality Scottish there we go Mark Leonard, maybe. He's 24 years old. Would be a good signing. Doesn't cost us too much money. Actually, very cheap when you look at it. Um, I wish I had that money before Landon Dykes left and I could have signed him. George Johnson. They want way too much for him. They can bugger off. Kieran of, uh, of Ford. I don't like these high percentages of future transfer fees though. Uh, Dylan Smith maybe? No. Uh, Josh Campbell? Probably be a good signer. See I'm not going crazy. I'm not going for like superstars with Rag Rovers unless they're old players. Um, I'm not going for like Haaland or Mbappe obviously because I won't sign them but you know what I mean. I'm going for I'm going I'm either going for unheard of players or don't cost much or um like players like Deli Alley for instance. Right, let's now get rid of this Scottish thing and then what we'll do international and we do caps. So we've got this player here. No. What about no, not him. So hopefully we might be able to spot a well-known player. I don't want to bring in Johnny Evans. He's too old. Let's keep going down here. Oh, I hit the wrong thing there. Let's keep going through here. Neil Lethbridge? No. A lot of these players I've never heard of them. Jeff Hendrick? Probably too old. A lot of these players are old. Oh, Jerome Boateng. Oh, there we go. That's more like it. I know he's old, but we'll just bring him in for the lols. Uh, let's 
keep going. We'll keep going. We'll, we might find some good players, you never know. Nah, a lot of these we probably won't uh, probably won't bother with. I'll give it another minute of me doing this and then I think I'll give it a miss. Sam Vokes maybe? No, I don't think we've got all right for strikers. In fact, I'm just gonna leave it. I feel like we've got a decent team as it is. I don't I can't think of any positions where I want to strengthen. Maybe the DOF will bring in us. We've got 11 days left, so we might bring in some players. Sorry that I'm very click, very quick at clicking at these. These these type of things don't interest me. As long as they are happy to accept, I'm not one of these managers that wants to negotiate too much. Uh, what was that with Jerome Boateng though? Uh, no, I don't think so. You're just going to be a player. And that's it. And if you don't like it, you can bugger off. Fine, we're not bringing in Boateng. So we sign this player here, who's very highly rated, Alfie uh, Bavage. Josh Campbell. So it's good we're getting some Scottish players in. I just realised I've been recording for half an hour. I can't believe it's been half an hour. I think I've only played one game in that half an hour episode. What I'll do is I'll Get rid of the rest. Of, I'll do the rest of this, and I'll try and get another. I'll get another two games done. I think. I try and do at least three games per episode. Oh, what well on? We want to bring him in if we can. Oh balls! I balls up there. Uh, oh, it doesn't matter. Leave it. It's all right. Ah, he doesn't want to come anyway. Signed Mark Leonard. Uh, there is a few. Actually, there is some. There is some players that we can. Uh... Right, go to transfers, and then we go to transfer. No, where is it? Where is it? What am I looking for? Transfer history. There we go. Uh, where's future transfers? Future transfers. So obviously we've got Hoyland coming in in May. Because he's currently on loan. We can't buy him now. Buy him now though. Can we buy anybody else? Let's have a look. No. Can buy Max Power in. Bring him in. Can buy Josh Bow Bowler. Bring him in. Uh, we, no, we'll wait for a Ober family. But yeah, we've got some more players coming in. Good to have a decent squad. Considering all the players... That we get injured at times. Uh, yeah, let's have a look. Pretty good. So, uh, yeah. Right, is there still time for the DOF to bring anybody in? Probably not. He probably won't bother. Oh, I stand corrected. Got this player coming in. 25 years old. Uh, we just got to wait on a work permit. If it's not. It is not it is not possible to purchase this player at the moment. Well, that's good. Then why the bother did you why did you bother making an offer for him then? That don't make sense, does it? Uh, he's got no personality as well, which is not good. But yeah, a pretty decent player for the Scottish Premiership. Right, three hours left. Have we got any shocks in the making here? Probably not. I think that'll be it now. Yeah, one hour left, window closed. Oh, I might look into bringing him in actually for the summer. Probably won't come to us though. I've got your brother here. Surely you want to be with your brother. 
Right, Celtic next game. Come on. Chance of windows closed now. I don't want to start what's taking so long. Oh, I just thought I can release them players now. Uh, I'm going too quick here. Sorry, everyone. Heads up about Warner. Get his, his agent to do it. Okay. Fine. There we go. That's you sorted. No. Okay. Um... Yeah, there was a couple of players I want to get rid of, innit? Fermin will get rid of. Yep, he's happy to go. Thomas Ince will get rid of you. We've now got the transfer budget to do that. Same with you, Tom Lawrence. That's you out the door. Probably get rid of Liam Shaw as well. There we go, he's happy to go. Mitchie contracted, Mitchie terminated, sorry. So that will free up some of the wage budget as well. Oh, what about Tom Lawrence? I forgot Tom Lawrence. Oh, no, I didn't. Got rid of Tom Lawrence as well. So we now got a big difference. We, we're doing very well. We've got a decent, way, a decent wage budget, a decent transfer budget, decent scouting budget, um, money in the bank. Can we do any improvements anywhere? No. Right, Celtic next game, very big game for us. If we win this, we are going to be on the up. If we lose this, which is probably what's going to happen, then we're probably just going to have to concede the fact that we're going to be 7th in the league, I think. I say that, and it's only February, but... Like I said, this is not a normal video. A normal video would be a little bit more edited, but because of it being the transfer window, transfer deadline day and stuff like that, I just didn't want to um, begrudge you the, the live experience of that. But yeah, after this episode, we go back to the normal routine of me doing it in bits and then just linking them together. No, I'm not paying 60, I'm not paying, no, I don't understand why they think I would do that. Mm. Just because I've got money, just because I've got a decent wage budget, doesn't mean I'm going to spend getting players in. There's going to be, at the most, it's going to be 35, 40 grand a week at the most on the, on the top players and that's it. I'm not spending more than that on a week on players, they can bugger off. I only made that exception for Delhi Alley, or else I would have kept it at 30 grand a week. I'm not paying more than 30 grand a week for a bloody football player in the Scottish Premiership. I can bugger off. Right then. So we've got Castilla in goal, Rue is right back, Welsh and Warner in defence, Diarte on the left, Rios and Ball in midfield, Boulder making his debut on the wing on the right, Maldi in the middle, Middleton on the left, and Hoyland up front. Come on, Hoyland. We want Hoyland to score here today. Hoyland. 15 games now Hoyland's played without a goal or maybe 16 I don't know but hopefully he can finally get back on the scoring uh, yeah scoring board good tackle go on ball Maldini bowler Maldini uh, go on Rui uh, started well though Give the players a little bit of encouragement. Let's see what we can do here. Um, oh, there we go. Go on, bowler. Middleton. Oh, Hoyland! Yes, get in, Hoyland! Oh, I'm so happy for him. Oh, 
Well done, Hoyland. Finally back on track. Well done, buddy. Uh, means we're three points behind these still. Hopefully they'll lose and we can climb up the table eventually. I mean, mathematically, I know it's not going to happen. Mathematically, we still have a chance of getting in the top four. Um, but we are playing Celtic though, so I'm not going to count all my chickens. I'm just happy the Hoyland scored. Uh, if we can grind out a 1 0 win, happy days. But this is, like I said, this is Celtic. Oh, good save. No, I won't do any shouts, I'll leave it for now. Just in case it upsets the morale. Right, let's see what we can do. All Celtic in the second half, good ball. That was a beautiful goal, that was. Oh, is it offside though? Ooh, is VAR going to come to our rescue? Come on. Oh, okay, all right. It's fine. All right, corner to us, max power. Oh, I'll be happy with 1-1 one -one against Celtic, top of the league. Obviously, ideally, we want to win, but... Not top of the league, sorry, third in the league. Rangers seem to be overpowered on this. They're 18 points clear of Celtic. Either that or Celtics took a... Uh, I don't know, like a decrease in ability out of nowhere. Uh, Dyson with danger there, passing it back to the goalkeeper like that. Don't like that. Come on. We've still got time. We might get a... If we don't concede, we've always got a chance. Go on, Maldini. Right, are we going to do something with this? Oh, we are. Straight to keep his hands out. <sighs> Can we get the ball off him? Damn it. Oh, I really was hoping for a, a get a point here. Come on, lads. You started the game so brightly. Yeah, I think we're, we're not going to get in the... No. Uh, at least we're not going to get relegated. We're 11, I say that, we're, 11, we're only 11 points behind Ross County. Oh, well, at least Hoyland got a goal, though. So, hopefully we can... That will work in our favour. Yep, finally scores. Well done, mate. Fair play to you. It's took him a while, though. 18 hours without a goal. Jesus Christ. Right, on that note, I'm going to call this episode to an end because it's not a game now for 16 days. But, yeah, thank you to everyone. Um, appreciate it as always. Sorry there wasn't many games in that episode, but it was more of a transfer window episode more than anything else. But yeah, anyway, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll be back on Monday. All the best.